we are Football Couple. Hello. And today we're going to be opening the brand new Panini Women's World Cup 2023 Starter Pack. So this is a brand new collection, only just released on the 1st of June. We're going to be taking our first look at this collection with this Starter Pack because as you can see, we do get the five packs and of course the album itself as well. If you take a look on the back, you can see that it does cost £4.99. And this is quite the heft of a collection, because as you can see, we have 32 different teams for a total of 580 stickers, which is quite mad. And you do kind of get a little sneak pre preview there, so you can go ahead and take a look at that. But let's crack straight into this, and let's take a look at this album. Yes, and of course, if you do want to see more football card and sticker openings, then make sure you are subscribed to our channel. This, of course, being a World Cup collection, it does feature every team that has qualified for the Women's World Cup. So really looking forward to seeing the stickers for this. Okay, so there we go. There's the sticker pack itself. We have the nice logo on there. Lots and lots of colour. Really, really nice sticker pack. And like I said, we have five of those to open. But let's take a look at this album. So there you go. There's the front cover itself, which is quite cool in itself. And there's the back. Very, very colourful, isn't it? Which is awesome. Okay, then we go on to the first page. We do, of course, get the free additional stickers but as you know on this channel we do like to leave them as they are well it's nice mead good. there though isn't there it's actually a nice mead isn't there that's quite nice isn't it shame she won't be playing unfortunately okay then we do probably have some shinies fingers crossed on there some first pages good old first pages then we go into this kind of map of all the locations where the games will be played of course it is australia and new zealand where the tournament's going to be held so there you go that's all the different locations these would have been cooler stickers actually wouldn't they it could have been nice, as well as the next page, I think it is, with the stadiums. Yes, we have all of the stadiums, which I do like them being included, but where's the stickers, man? It could have been stickers, couldn't they? But we do have some information about the opening match and the final match, as well as all the other stadiums there, of course. Yeah, which is quite cool. Don't necessarily know a lot about Australian football, so it's always a nice little feature, isn't it? Yeah, see some new stadiums. Okay, then we go straight into the teams. Of course, we start with one of the host nations. And as you can see straight away, look at the different kind of layout that we've got going on here. It looks like we're going to probably have the badge up here. And then, I don't know, some kind of team layout, I guess? Like a layout, yeah. I guess? Normally, I with an international tournament, the sticker collections are laid out in a block. So like a block of players. But this time, it's kind of... Like Rand a formation, random, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, which is an interesting thing. I do love the uh, mascot as well for this collection. Yeah, and also here we have the group. So this group A and the fixtures that will be played out. You can fill that in if you want, if that's what you'd like to do. Of course, we're not going to be doing that. Yeah, so we will just leave it blank. Okay, so let's go through all the teams. It's kind of similar as you go through. There is slightly difference in the type of layout that you've got. Like I said, it's kind of like a formation. So I guess it depends on what the team has picked. We have Norway and the Philippines, which is quite fun, isn't it? Quite an interesting team to be adding there. Then we have Switzerland, which is the end of Group A. Going to Group B, we have Australia. There we go, of course, the other host nation for this tournament. Then we have the Republic of Ireland. Nice, good stuff. Nigeria, as well as Canada. Wraps up Group B. Going on to Group C, we have Spain, of course. Going to have some nice stickers in there. Costa Rica. As well as Zambia, they're going to be quite fun to collect, aren't they? Yeah, that's a nice thing, isn't it? You get some teams that wouldn't be in the Men's World Cup, you can collect it. If you are from these countries, it's something a little bit to look forward to that you wouldn't normally get, I would say. Group D, England, Woo! there we go. Of course, the team was announced recently, and some of these players haven't made it. Like we said about the Mead, she's yes. injured. She Williamson as well, yeah. of course. Ah, uh, I mean, it's not great for our chances, I would say, but... We're it still does quite lessen strong, them. I guess. It does less than them, yes, doesn't yeah. it? Fingers crossed, eh? Still nice to collect them. <laughs> nice to include mead Indeed. in the collection. I'll take it. Okay, then we have a high tea team, which is quite mad, isn't it? That's our first match, I believe. Yep. And then Denmark. And the end of the group is the China People Republic. There we go. So then we go into the middle of the album. And of course, that normally has something quite interesting. But look at this. Beyond Greatness stickers, so these should all be shiny, and look at the colour on there, I almost don't want to stick on it, it looks amazing. Yeah, they're all going to be shiny, it does kind of look quite vibrant, doesn't it? But hopefully that shine will just enhance it when the stickers are in there. Yes. It's interesting to see if we manage to get some of them in our packs today, that would be nice. Fingers crossed. There is two pages of them, then we go back to the teams, so we have the USA, and Vietnam. We also have... The Netherlands, as well as Portugal for Group E, 
F, we then have France. This looks like a good group, doesn't it? France. Jamaica. Brazil. And Brazil. They're going to be the pre-tournament favourites, I think, Brazil. And then Panama to end. Okay, then we go on to the next group. We have Sweden, South Africa, Italy, and then we have Argentina in there as well. So quite exciting, that one as well. On to the final group, we have Germany, Morocco, Colombia, and then we have Korea Republic at the end. So that is all the teams that we're going to be able to see in this tournament. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. So the next page, there should be a match schedule. So we'll be able to see when our first match is going to be. So this is the date you need to be looking out for. The 20th of July. And it's going to be New Zealand versus Norway. So that's going to be exciting. So keep an eye out for that date. And let us know what you think of the tournament as you go. Yeah, England's first game on the 22nd. So not long to wait for that. Should be a good one. Hopefully we can do well. Fingers crossed. I really do hope so. Okay, then the rest of the album, we can have a row two. Sure was a nice little feature. But that's pretty much it. And we do have the rest of the stickers in the back there. Again, we'll be keeping them as they are. Okay, so that is the album itself. So that looks fantastic. So does that mean the stickers are going to be just as fantastic? We can hope so. Hopefully there's going to be a shiny or two in these packs. Yes, I'm going to be kicking us off. Here we go then. What's our first sticker going to be? England. Ooh. No, Germany. <laughs> okay, so we have a Dalman. There we go. Get the focus. Awesome stuff. Those look really, really good. As you can see, the name and the date of birth here. Of course, the team up there. And there you go. The kind of main focus is the player, of course. There we go. We also have Mudali. We then have an Ebi, as well as a Lungu and Roadman. And there you go, there's the code. You go ahead and take it. It's for a digital pack on the app. You can enjoy that. Yeah, the digital collection is available to use. It was actually out a week before the actual sticker collection itself, which is quite interesting. But a pack in every pack, so to speak. Okay, we'll start off and again with a Germany player. And we have a Rausch, as well as Pop. Why so many she German players? a few problems in the Champions League. Runner-up, of course, with Wolfsburg. Then we have a Gatlana, as well as Hatch, and a Melge to end the pack. Okay, nice. No shinies yet, is there? Have you had a shiny? I haven't no, had a shiny. No shiny. We better be getting a shiny in this pack. Come on. That is the target of this pack. Let's see what we have then. We have a Hayen. We also have a Falcon and a Tanara, as well as a Swabby. Nice. And there we go, we have the Brazil badge, that is more like it, that's what we want to see. Lots of shinies, lots and lots of good stuff. And there is a code, of course, in the back as well. Woo! Shiny! Yeah, so, as I said, I think Brazil are the pre-tournament favourites, along with the usuals, back USA, of course. So do let us know who you think is going to win. Is it going to be England? It's not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's going to be. For I don't know, injuries. I think we have too many injuries, yeah. <laughs> but we can give it a good go, right? Okay, in the next pack, we have a Opera Noisy. Uh, as well as a Sanchez, and a Nunez, Drew Spence, and a Caruso to end the pack. And there you go, there is the code for my final pack. Oh, and we've only got one shiny so far. That is terrible, isn't it? Let's hope for a multiple shiny pack. That is the goal. <laughs> That's what we need. An England player would be nice. That we at least have one shiny, as you can see there, poking out. Good stuff. Okay, so we have a Yamashita as well as a Bolden. And it is the Japan badge, there you go. We started the pack with Japan, we've got the Japan badge, two badges. Nice. Nice, we also have a Chloe Kelly, that's good. At least that's a good thing, right? And we end with a Ocelot. And there you go, there's the next code. So we've got two Shinies. I mean, I would say that is not the best of pulls, is it? That is not a good start. It's about on ratio, I think. Five packs, two Shinies. They're gonna be one in every other pack, realistically, aren't they? Well, maybe, but you'll want to see more, don't you? you want to see more shinies. Right, so this collection is available now in shops. It is currently sold out online. It's quite difficult to find online. We did have to pay more than the retail to get it to us, but you should be able to find it in shops pretty easily by now. So do let us know if you are collecting this collection. Yeah, but for today, that is going to do it. So hopefully you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you next time. Bye.